and welcome back to another video. I missed you guys so much and today, today Angels, it's not just a normal vlog, it is a big deal. So, today is actually Thursday, Herbie's birthday was on Tuesday and I'm actually still quite emotional about it. He turned one on Tuesday, um, this is literally by the way like the biggest thing that's happened to me all week. Fortunately, um, on Monday night he had an awful stomach and it literally had us up from like three o'clock onwards. So, Herbie's first thing that we did on his first birthday was actually go to the vet, so like 8am as soon as it opened. And he just wasn't very well that day, so we didn't really do any celebrating. I did buy a few like balloons and stuff but nobody was really in the party mood. So we kind of pushed things forward to the end of the week because we have some really fun things planned. Today, right now, we're actually about to go and visit a really cute little bakery called The Bakery for Dogs. <laughs> which is in a place near us called Cheddar. I'll leave a link to them and everything in the description box below. But they're actually throwing Herbie a little party which literally melted my heart. They've made him a cake. It looks like such a really gorgeous place. I've never been but honestly like their Instagram is pop in yeah we're gonna go there and then on saturday in two days time the breeders i have i think i've actually spoken to you guys about this in a live before the person that we got herbie from um they live about 10 minutes away from where we live we got on with them really really well when we obviously like were first meeting all the puppies and picking which one we wanted to go for and we stayed quite close with them and they have done something so cute and they are throwing a first birthday party for all of the puppies that they're dog had so yeah on saturday it's going to be like a big reunion all of the pups are going to be back together and yes yeah, so that's happening on saturday so we've got a few really really fun things planned for herbie's birthday because angel look you know me i'm not a regular mum i'm a cool mum so obviously we have some fun things planned i just thought it'd be so fun to bring you guys along and just make a little vlog out of it and to be honest just make it like a weekend vlog you know who doesn't love a weekend vlog hashtag go away right now if you don't so this is my outfit of the day today big champion jumper um jeans are from misguided and then just my nikes i will leave everything linked in the description box below i am finally feeling like it's not boiling hot summer anymore don't know about you guys and i'm actually really happy about it like i am happy that it's like a dull gray it's not even gray yet i think that's me kind of being a little bit hopeful just like give me autumn vibes you know because i'm ready sis i'm ready for those autumn days oh my god don't even get me started on movie days vlogmas autumn vlogs putting up the wreath decorating the house watching hocus pocus eating loads of food having loads of hot chocolates and cups of tea and biscuits oh my god what a time to be alive so here's hunky dude Hey boo! Hey! Hello. My goodness, look at all of this washing up we have to do. That is so gross. How are you feeling? Right, As a father of a one year old. Oh, would you look at that? Big, stretch, big stretch to show off. Because he's the birthday guy. In here is a big bag of um, bits that I ordered for Hubby's birthday. But today is your birthday. Oh, yeah, you recognise it, don't you? Because we've had a little play with it today is actually your birthday herbie so happy birthday let's put on your hat ah! oh yes he's oh, look at you is that really funny darling darling look at you have you got your birthday hat on oh yeah you do come on should we show all the angels your let's party balloon come on look let's party mum spent your whole birthday morning doing this up didn't she balloons although he wasn't feeling very well okay this is annoying you let's get it off don't have to hide your face like that it's not that embarrassing okay let's put on your lead look angels this is herbie's friendly lead because we need everybody to know that you're a friendly dude Come here, baby. This is from the vets, his local vets. I actually think it's such a good idea. Like, basically, Herbie, obviously, like, our dog is friendly, you know? But Herbie, especially before we got him done, was, like, incredibly, whoa! Um, over-friendly, actually. Like, if he saw any other dog, especially, like, another Labrador or a big dog that he knew he could play with, he would just go crazy for them. So, we thought it was a really good idea when we saw these at the vets to get it for Herbie. They also do like ones that say anxious or caution or um, I'm in training or guide dog or whatever. So, yeah, I just think it's a really, really good idea. You like it, don't you, darling? I cry to 
together we cry. Listen to our favourite band at the moment, aren't we, Con? Yeah. What are you looking at? I've got a cut on my lip and it's hurting. Oh, darling, look at that. I don't know. Bother. You might be going back to the cold weather of the UK. Thank God, I was just literally saying to the angels how much I would love that. I'm fed up of feeling hot and sticky con all the time. Cause thing is, it's not like a nice sunshine anymore. It's literally just like... Mug. Yeah, minging really. And I'm excited for autumn. My pony's pyjamas on. No, actually, hun. I bet it's gonna start feeling like autumn by the end of August. And I bloody hope so. And this time next month, it'll be the first day of September. So we all be living our best lives. So Con, anyway, how are you feeling about being the father of a one-year-old? I feel all right. I don't feel much different, if I'm honest. I do. Okay, explain. I feel, just feel emotional about it, you know? I feel like I took for granted the days that he was zero. Whereas now it's just gonna be like a constant count, you know? Like how old's your dog? Three. I can't any longer say that Herbie's like six months, you know? And that's just like really He's a year cute. old. He's one. And then soon he'll be two. And then soon he'll be five. And then soon he'll, he'll be 10. Just spray up sitting really. OMG, angels. Right. I just made Connor listen to this. It's not focusing, but it's called Manifest What You Want by Fearless Soul. It's on Spotify. I found it when I was sunbathing in Turkey one day. Um, I just fancied meditating or like doing a little bit of deep thinking. So I just put it on. It's like literally eight minutes long um, and it's incredible. It, motivates you it makes you think about your dreams and your goals and where you are in life right now and how you're gonna get like to your next step and your how you're gonna achieve your next dream at least once or twice a day I'm asked what I recommend in terms of like self-help or um, manifestation and stuff like that and obviously I have my usual book recommendations um, like you are a badass by Jen Sincero oh that's me sorry guys that was my mum ringing me oh she's calling me again Hello. Anyway, so I would highly recommend that on Spotify. Gets you in the mood, makes you do some thinking, puts you in your best life boot, you know what I mean? Okay, so we have just arrived in the beautiful Cheddar Gorge. On the way back, I'm gonna show you guys um, the gorges that we just had to drive through to get here because it's literally like something out of Jurassic World. Honestly, I feel like we're so lucky to live in this such a beautiful area and I actually really want to come here more often. I might bring my mum here for her birthday. Happy where are we? So this is just a really cute little area with shops um, and ice cream parlours and stuff. And then on the end here, it is Cheddar Paws. <laughs> oh look, Herbie, they've got a statue of you on top. Herbie, can you see that? Oh look how excited he is. Goes oh, for a proper party. Thank you so much. Oh my goodness! Have you guys? So it's all it's all brain free. It's all hypoallergenic. It's all done with no sugar and things. So it's so good. Goodness! I love this idea of the This is so amazing. Herbie, look at your dinosaur cake. <laughs> Herbie. Oh my, what have you got? Herbie, look, these say your name on it. Happy birthday, Herbie. I literally can't get over how cute this actually is. <gasps> <laughs> Uh, do you see him try to go for that then? No. I oh, saw that, mate. Nice try. Dave, happy birthday, Herbie. <gasps> What's that, Herb? <laughs> Whoa. Happy birthday. Is that nice? Good to you. Shoot. <laughs> Get bored. <laughs> Ice creams, <laughs> treats. Oh, 
Harry's cake. This is Herbie's idea of heaven. It's all really good. Yeah. Stuff for them. Oh my god. He's got... Oh my god. He's eating it. Looking at it. He's going around and taking off all of the little frosting bits. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, Abby. Good morning again, angels. Happy new day. It's a Saturday. Today is not focused around Herbie for once in his little life. It's actually focused around... Not even me, it's just not focused around Herbie. Today we actually have a really, really fun, exciting day and I wasn't gonna vlog it, um, but <laughs> it's a really, really exciting day and I just thought you guys would literally be so mad at me if I didn't vlog. Today we're going to London. Um, we are going to London for a few different reasons. First of all, we are going to have a meeting with the guy that we... Um, like he's our contact at Universal Florida which by the way they have just announced like a huge new theme park that's going to be opening they haven't given an opening date yet but I assume it's going to be within a couple of years it's going to be called Universal's Epic Universe and it's literally supposed to be like incredible a whole new theme park new hotels oh my god I'm literally so excited Universal is literally going to be the place that like me and Connor take our kids for the annual holiday you know our absolute dream goal is to have a house in Florida and just go there for the summer you know oh my god what a vibe anyway yes we're having a meeting with him um over some lunch at about 12 and then we are actually going to view a couple of different venues for something very very exciting so i was contemplating whether or not to vlog today because there is literally so much that's going on behind the scenes at the moment and today is like part of that and i'm going to be doing a really big very special announcement sometime soon um the last few things are just sort of being finalised. But we are launching something super exciting. We have a very, very, very big secret project coming your way soon. Yeah, today you're going to be meeting somebody who is a big part of that as well. Her name is Layla. Um, she's been working with us for a couple of months now since like may time it's amazing you guys are literally gonna love her and you're gonna be seeing her an awful lot more um on the channel especially like when the announcement has been made and stuff but yeah she has been working with us and she is incredible i literally couldn't be happier to have her she's coming with us because um today we are actually looking at venues for an angel party oh that's her right now i'm literally so excited for you guys to meet her so yeah that's what we're doing in london today we're going to look at some venues for an angel party because when it's all announced we're going to have the party because it's going to be a big deal so this is my outfit quickly we've got just a white bodysuit some denim shorts um and like a nude blazer i'm wearing them with my alexander mcqueen's today um i need to leave a key out because our cleaner's coming while we're away and this is for the journey home. Oh, my lip liner. Obvo. Oh, boo, come on. I'm not literally sitting in the car all the way back from London and done with shorts. Are you okay. kidding me? Yes, I'm ready. Layla, are you ready to meet the angels for the first time? Ready? Here she is! Layla! Herbie loves Layla! Oh my god, I don't know Esme with me. Herbie's asking where Esme is. Layla has a beautiful daughter. She's 18 months? Yeah, do you want to see a photo? Yeah, they will oh, all die over her. Oh my god, do not show them. Layla has a really cute little daughter called Esme. She's 18 months old and her and her be a literally BFFs. Well, we have so many pictures. <laughs> oh, look at her. <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> she looks so cute. Yeah, Herbie's asking where she is, but she's not here today because we've got a big business today. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, coming in. Coming in. Yeah, flex. I just want to win, yeah, LABB who we running with, yeah. Wow. Thank you. Okay guys, so we have arrived in London. We've just had our meeting with the guys at Universal. We've got some really, really exciting things coming up and we have just jumped in a black cab to our first venue viewing. This is a really, really lovely venue. I'm not going to say where these venues are just in case obviously we don't choose to go there but yeah um this one looks very promising and it's only the entrance at the moment be 
beautiful. Uh, the Lori Landu room. Wow. Well, obviously you wouldn't need to make use of every room, but mm. if you were doing a venue exclusive, you would have all of these spaces. It'd be a nice little room for, like, to have all of us. Yeah. We've got full lift access. Perfect. And we've got cloak rooms and change rooms, restrooms in there. If you guys wanted to brand anything, like we can remove all of the stuff in here. Oh, okay, great. Um, OMG. Oh, hello. What do you think of space number one? Uh, difficult. Got nothing to compare it to, but so far oh, so good. Connor. Connor's very sensible. Me on the other hand, Angels, I'm like, wow. Okay, so I'm just trying to envision you all stood in here for a very exciting party. This is the main room. It's a very gorgeous, obviously those darling pictures there would come down. A very, very beautiful, beautiful building. And there is so much space for some very fun things to happen. Yeah. Wow, I literally wish this was my house, you know? And then, if we come through this door, how cool. Oh my God, I can literally imagine you all stood in here. Went out into the garden. Oh, oh damn. There we go, go on, let's step outside. Share what you're about. Oh yeah, look at that. Lovely terrace. Angel party vibes or angel party vibes, am I right? Literally, that's saying I can't wait to see you. Stood here with me. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Oh, hello. I didn't know you were there. Oh, hello. Guys, Layla and Con think we're going to be able to top that one, but <laughs> I don't. I'm Layla, sure. what are your thoughts? Okay, let me just tell you a little thing about Layla. <laughs> okay, so there's Con, who was incredibly sensible. Um, he might not seem Business it in the vlogs, guys, yeah, yeah, especially when he's drunk in Turkey. <laughs> but he is very serious. He doesn't let me do much because he's just like, no, Ellie, that's not attainable. But whereas me, on the other hand, I'm, I mean, you guys know me. I'm literally like, oh my god, oh my god, I really want this one else. Layla is in the middle. So Layla lets me do what I want, <laughs> but she also is like, con, I totally know what you mean. And he's been a bit ambitious here. Just let her get on with it. So Layla, Hello. what yeah. do you feel about that first venue? I'm giving it a 7.5 out of 10. I rate things by oh. numbers. Okay. I was going to yeah. give it an 8, but I'm giving it yeah, the... Yeah, I would have given it an 8. I'm giving it the 7.5 because I feel we're having to work with the space rather than the space working for us. I agree. I That's do my see opinion. that, yeah. It has got lots of good points, as you've seen. It's beautiful. Yeah, yeah. Um, and it can do what we want. Yeah. But... It's could, not you be happier? could be happier. Could you be happier? Could you be happier? You can indeed. So we're gonna go and look at the next venue. So this is the last venue. I feel like Layla has literally found the most perfect venues for us. You know, you guys, you guys saw that one is like spread out across quite a few different little rooms. But this one, I think, is gonna be quite big, isn't it? Yeah. Definitely. So we will have to let you know how we get on. Okay, guys. Venue number two. Um, I really don't know what to make of this one. It's very different. Uh, the entrance. Oh my god, hang on. Let me just show you this. Oh my god, I feel like, oh my god, I feel like I'm in a super posh movie. Um, you've got the London Eye right there. Buckingham Palace is literally there somewhere. Um, yeah, I don't know about this venue. I feel like Layla and Connor are gonna like it a lot more than the last venue, but I think I love the last venue. And I think this one is my second favorite. I don't know. I'll show you guys the inside. So this is the vibe in here, beautiful. You've got the balcony over here, which is where I just was. And then here, wow, beautiful. Look at that, I feel like I'm in a chapel con, goodness. Look at this, sun is turning on all the lights. How are you feeling? Con, you're not gonna do opera in here, are you? Oh, how you feeling? Quick, how you feeling? I'd fill this in. I knew you would. Did I you? knew you would. By the, time I, by the time I speak to you about it, you'd fill it in. No, I won't. No, con. Okay, guys. I have got my seatbelt on, don't worry. How are we all feeling? Layla? Okay, so we've not spoken to the angel since we've seen venue number two. It's ages ago. Connor, no, it wasn't. Okay, the only word I can use is it was naked. As in, yeah. it has so much potential, but it needs more work than the first, the first venue. Yeah. But there was, so let's go back to my number scoring. I'd give this one a 7 out of 10 because yeah. it needs a bit more work. Um, and there was a few things that were a bit iffy. Yeah. But nothing is perfect. 
Never. So. But this is what I mean though, guys. Oh, Connor, <laughs> not you. Con, what did you think of venue number two? Venue number two is the better venue. You would be able to throw a better angel party at venue two. Yeah. Could you guys imagine Facts. all the angels in venue number two? I don't yeah. know if I could. Like, venue number one, I was like thinking, oh my God, there's going to be. Venue number one is literally a house. Have you told them where venue number two is? What you can see out right the next window. to Buckingham Palace. Mm -hmm. I can't remember if I did say that. Yeah, so we're basically royalty. Um, <laughs> all the angels are coming straight from Buckingham Palace. We're gonna have a big sleepover there. I don't know. I did say when I was in there, like Connor and Layla are literally gonna love this venue, and I do. But I just feel like I had a connection with the first one. I don't know why. Because you, because of the brands that were in there before. I know. Like I know that really amazing brands have thrown their parties there, and. Like, I feel, feel like if it's good enough for them, it's good enough for the angels. I just want everyone to have a really great time, you know? Just feeling a little bit like, is this good enough for my hands? I don't know. We're going to make a big decision later. But I'm very, very excited. I literally cannot wait to reveal to you guys the reason why we're having an angel party, when it's going to be. But all you guys can know at the moment is that it is in London, obviously, because there's not a Buckingham Palace in Manchester or <laughs> Bath. So when do you think I'll be able to tell the angels a little bit more about the secret oh, project? Start September. Start teasing them. Um, end of August. Yeah, you can have a little snippet. Yeah, like a, a little sign of a crisp. <laughs> Okay guys, one more month and you guys will be able to find out, but this is literally the biggest project of my life. I'm so excited, get emotional when I think about it, can't wait. Anyway, we're back in the car now, obviously, we're driving home, traffic is actually awful, but then it is a Friday afternoon at half past four, five o'clock in the evening. What snacks has everyone got? I've obviously got these, we stopped at like an M&S garage on the way back, so obviously, I mean. I did ask if they had the chocolate buttons, but unfortunately, um, I don't know if anybody else wants to know this, they are only done in uh, the big m &S shops and not petrol stations apparently, which is upsetting. We've also got some grapes because we're healthy. Layla's packed like a picnic, you know? You guys think I'm a snacker. I've got Layla olives, is. I've got smoo two smoothies, crisp, popcorn, um, Go go. Yeah. What would you like? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, angels, that's going to go ahead and conclude today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I know it was a little bit random going from Herbie's birthday to angel party venues to here right now. Thank you guys so much for just always being there for me and for loving me and caring about me and appreciating these videos. You guys honestly have no idea how much it means to me. Um, I will see you guys very soon. Thank you so much for all of your love. And have a lovely Sunday afternoon or Monday morning or Tuesday evening whenever you're watching this video. <laughs> Love you guys. Bye.